and today i'm gonna be reacting to one piece episode number two this is the live action was very surprised by the first episode let's keep watching i do have high hopes for it right now the last episode we saw that luffy met zoro he met nami they basically got the map to the grand line let's see where they get to next check it out let's go it was still crazy how he just like stabbed himself in the eye oh so now he's basically testing out his powers so here's a question right and i always ask this about even in the anime which is he's saying gum gum right but did shanks tell him about that did shanks tell him it's the gum gum fruit or did he just start calling it that and once again like i said i noticed the shoes right the sandals i wonder if they're gonna show the part i mean i keep saying this but they probably are gonna show the part with the water and luffy and shanks okay so now we're back oh she's cracking the safe that they got in the last episode and the cat burglar opens it. so this is the obviously the map to the grand line interesting oh wow the, the grand line is just right where is it exactly? You're going to the Grand Line, but you don't know where it is. Guess I need a navigator on my crew. This thin strip of land is called the Red Line. And then the Grand Line goes across it. Oh. Okay, so this is probably Buggy, because I remember at the end of the last episode, Buggy was saying, like, whoever I have to kill to get it. Oh, damn, Luffy, don't do it. Ah. So what? Because he has the devil fruit power, essentially, he's not being affected by the poison or by the knockout gas, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's a pretty sick graphic. Oh, so he did actually eventually pass out. Like I was saying in the last episode, it's all these little finer details that I'm really liking a lot. You know, when you put a lot of effort into the set design and even just the graphics and stuff, it really brings it out to the next level. And all he, all he cares about is his hat. <laughs> Oh wow, so they're like in the middle of a, of a circus floor essentially. What's gonna be interesting is to see Buggy's abilities, you know, because he can essentially like, oh wow, so they like trap forever to watch the show, Buggy. Oh, wrong! Spotlight was late, you completely missed my entrance. And where? Uh, Binky, right? <laughs> Binky. <laughs> Buggy the Clown. Just that everyone knows who you are. Nose! Oh, nose. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> See, because I was thinking that Buggy, they would have, like, some guy who is going to try be like the Joker, you know? But I hope not. Drop your weapons now, and I may let you live. And we've seen it. I mean, Zoro in the anime as well, but Zoro has, like, no remorse. He'll just kill you. <laughs> Something else to offer you. Hey, hmm? yo. She's obviously gonna say Luffy. Town is completely trashed. Well, I mean, obviously her hate for pirates is just this is why she hates them, you know. I'll let them keep their hand. The Marine headquarters. Oh, Kobe's actually joined up. You were picking a fight you couldn't win. Caged bird. <laughs> Second time Zara's captured. <laughs> oh, <so laughs> they're just using the people of the town now <laughs> and that's probably the mayor of the town as well boogie <laughs> pinky boogie <laughs> yes yeah, so let's get some fights going Oh, that was pretty cool. 
Oh, the knockout gas again. But that's the thing. His fruit is pretty insane because he can still control it like it's a part of his body. Like imagine if it was the modern day and you had like a video camera or like a camera attached to like your two hands, right? And then you could send them. I wonder what the distance he could cover is, but you could send them pretty far. You could check on the screen, grab. That would be pretty cool. Surprise your hand isn't broken after punching Zoro. The guy's is literally made of stone. Well, figuratively made of stone. You cut off his head. You stuffed it in a bag. Oh, for you, Barry. Barry is the for someone who doesn't know. You might think that he did it for fruit, but berries is what they call the currency there. Oh wow. So that's the other thing. I forgot what it's called. Maybe it is like a snail mail, you know? I think it is a play off of that. But each person, their snail is like their phone, essentially. and But it will look like the person who owns it. Can't think of the name now. <laughs> Welcome to the Marines. This guy is back now. Look, boys. The janitor is back. <laughs> Just as I was about to make it. The janitor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is what I was saying. Bro, it looked like that guy was wearing Chuck Taylors for a second. Oh, he took Luffy. But that's the thing, even Shanks wear sandals as well. And this is this is gonna be the last time I speak about it, but it seems to me that they're gonna be to represent the sandals, they have like the lines of a sandal on like a beige shoe. And like I said, I guess that to be able to do all the different choreography and stuff to make it easier for the actor they put the shoes on. Just like you can't make them smile. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, if it's sea water, they can't swim. That's like what that other chick was saying at the bar. That's one of the things about the devil's fruit, which is kind of ironic because it's like you're going out to sea as a pirate, you're eating the devil's fruit, but then you can't swim. So it's like this weird paradox. Yeah, in the anime, you just sink, you just immediately sink down. Actually, like their body just completely freezes and it's like they actually can't even move. Hakai. You see, that was an interesting thing because you know, in reptiles <clears throat> attack, the eyes go closed. So he literally opened up its eyes. It's only an arm. It's only an arm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. You'd be so dizzy at that point. Oh, that's all he needed to get free. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> choked out cold with one arm. I've seen it in the UFC. I've seen people get a choke with one arm, so. But I mean, Zoro is so strong, anyways. He's Nakama. Dead. <laughs> I mean, I'll just say it, like, Luffy would have been dead a long time ago if it wasn't for his crew. I'll just put that out there. Oh. Whoa, that's actually so good. That's actually so good. Whoa, they've got it proper. I think they just set the bar for anime, for live action anime. Oh. Oh. Oh, the chop chop cannon. Oh. I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I'm Monkey D. Luffy. And I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Bazooka! Bazooka! You hear me, Mr. Navigator. One more thing we have to do. Free the people, the Marines, scumbags. It's a token of our, of our gratitude. You need it more than we do. <laughs> you know, Luffy <laughs> turning down the meat. Maybe just a snack. Yeah, you know, the guy steak and meat for days, protein. Man, imagine getting to play Shanks. Crazy. So that will always have each other. 
obviously like i have to say how i feel right because then what's the what's the point you know his accent changed as he grew up like why does he have the brazilian accent and here he has an american accent you know obviously it can't be perfect but you know i have to say what's on my mind oh give it to me brother i've got the red hair i think this is gonna make a an appearance every episode should just be like on my shoulder that's gonna be interesting oh my i'm so excited for the show not this one well this one but also the actual anime because there's a lot going on and there's so much actually just within the actual lore and the story and stuff and i have a couple of ideas but you know you can never be sure nami's actually fixing his straw out no nami's swat <laughs> Uh, so you thought it was your trouble, right? Whoa. It's a good, it's a great Nami, I'll say it again. <laughs> it's a great Nami. Oh yeah, because that's things Zara, all he does on the ship is sleep. Like, whether it's, like, up on top, I don't know what you call that of the ship. It's not the helm, is it? Maybe someone lets me know. What do you call the top part where they look out? The Grand Line. Fishman Isle. Wow. That was it. Wow. Very good episode. Very impressed by that episode. It seems like there wasn't a lot of parts. And for me, when it comes to any show, I, I don't like any moments where it's too dull for long periods of time. And it seems like every single episode, they're just jamming it full of, you know, the new characters that they're introducing and fight scenes. You know, that's what we want to see. We want to see the fight scenes, obviously, because they've got these powers. And like I said in the first episode, you know, Luffy was fighting that whole that group of people i think it was El the alveda pirates and he wasn't like stretching and bouncing around now we saw more of that this time so that was pretty cool anyways that's gonna be it for me thanks for watching if you're watching uh, like share subscribe do whatever you want to do and i'm gonna be out i'll see you in the next episode episode three peace